Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna, and in this video, of course, we're going to do another Final Cut Pro 10 video. As I use the software and I use uh, an application such as Compressor, I find myself uh, changing my workflow around b between videos. Uh, almost uh, between every video, I've actually changed my workflow. And a lot of thanks has to go out to Matt's McIntosh, Jonathan from TechFast Lunch and Dinner, and now Colt from Twitter who helped me to actually make my export settings through Final Cut Pro 10 in order to get the videos like this one up to YouTube. I was using a compressor. I bought it for $49.99 and I'm sort of regretting it as of now, not only because compressors pretty much remained unchanged since previous Final Cuts. It's still a 32-bit program. The UI is completely the same. It hasn't been revamped like Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, some people think that's a bad thing. Some people like me think uh, the new Final Cut Pro 10 UI and everything about it is very good. However, exports such as the Blog Z for iPad uh, video took almost 52 minutes to export. It's a 15-minute video in an iMovie with the Turbo 264 HD from Elgato. It would take less than 15 minutes for a 15-minute HD video. So on a side note, I hope uh, Elgato... Uh, re reinstalls or actually updates their hardware to, to be compatible with the new Final Cut Pro 10 because right now it's not. Uh, but in this video, we're going to show you, thanks to Colt, how I can export and save some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project because you have to do something with the audio first before you do that. So I'm going to get the opening. First, I have to create the project. So I'm going to go to new projects. You can go up here in, in the menu here, or you can go all the way down here and hit the plus sign, or you can actually use the keystrokes and create a new project with the command. And I've been trying to use keystrokes a lot more with Final Cut Pro 10 because essentially keystrokes on, on the keyboard will help you really minimize the time you work on a project. So I'm having fun learning that. So let's go with a test here. Uh, the default event will be T4 show. And I see here it has a 1080i. I'm going to go to 720p. That's what we usually put all our videos in. Now, here's the important part, audio and render properties. The audio channels are actually surround sound default, but we have to change it to stereo. That's important because uh, before when I use my camcorder, I don't have the uh, thing here, but I use a stereo adapter because otherwise it'll come through on one channel only. And according to Colt, sometimes it doesn't come through any channels at all. So switch that to stereo. So you're going to have to pretty much do a new project if you have previous ones that are on the um, previous settings. And I'll make this right now as my test one. And what I'll do is I'll take the opening to our video here and do that. I got to use the blade tool like I always do to trim this down. Made it too long. Anything I can do to use keystrokes, <laughs> I try my best. Okay, so go up to share. Now, you know, this is where I would usually export using comp compressor settings or send it to compressor. It was taking entirely too long. So what I'm going to do is go to export movie. Now here is the QuickTime movie uh, settings page here not very detailed very little so that's why a lot of people like the buy compressor so you have those extra settings uh, however what i've heard is that using h.264 will do very nicely and we'll see how long this takes here very quick very quick uh, and i'm going to look at the size of this video here to see that it's 7.8 megs, which isn't bad at all. Okay, so that's a, that's a test right there of export settings within Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, I'm not sure if I even need compressor right now. I hope they do a major update to it with Line. I hope they do a major update to Final Cut Pro 10. I hope they add some of the features that is turning off a lot of people right now with uh, Final Cut Pro 10. But I am enjoying the workflow. The import is very much... Uh, faster and the way I can work as things are rendered in the background is great. However, uh, like the two things I said, the export is is pretty much uh, something that needs to be tweaked, sped up, or at least have Elgato have 
Turbo 264 HD compatibility with Final Cut Pro 10. So until then, I'm still using it, still enjoying it, and hopefully you're still enjoying uh, these videos. So look for even more videos uh, to come. But for now, for everybody here at the T4 Show, and like I said before, many thanks to Matt's, Matt, Matt's, Matt and Josh, Tech Fest lunch and dinner, and also Colt for all the help. Thank you, and best of luck in all your future Final Cut Pro endeavors.